ever pondered the intersection of hijama and fasting, hijama, or cupping, is a form of alternative therapy that dates back to ancient cultures. This therapy involves creating a vacuum on the skin using cups which draws up the underlying tissues. When the cup is left in place on the skin for a few minutes, blood stasis is formed and localized healing takes place. Many health enthusiasts and spiritual practitioners have found hijama to be particularly beneficial during fasting periods. But why is this so? For one, fasting already puts the body in a state of detoxification. When combined with hijama, this detoxification process can be accelerated, helping the body to cleanse itself more efficiently. Now, here's a question that often arises. Does hijama break the fast? The majority of scholars agree that hijama does not break the fast. However, if the person might become weak as a result, it's considered makru or disliked. In other words, it's generally permitted. But if it's likely to cause weakness that could disrupt the fast, it's better to avoid it. So what have we learned today? Firstly, hijama, or cupping therapy, is a form of alternative therapy that can be beneficial during fasting. Secondly, while hijama is generally considered not to break the fast, it's discouraged if it could lead to weakness that disrupts the fast. Lastly, the combination of hijama and fasting can support the body's natural detoxification process, potentially leading to increased health benefits. Remember, as with any health practice, it's important to listen to your body and consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new therapy. So, whether you're a seasoned faster or just considering incorporating this practice into your routine, understanding the relationship between hijama and fasting can help you make informed decisions about your health and wellness journey.